Alright guys and welcome back to the Saints VV Champ Slamden content for our match review and reaction as Slamden lost a sixth Premier League game in a row which is now a club record to Wolves. They took the lead in the first half and lost 2-1. Before we get into it do make sure you've hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already. We've surpassed 3,000 subscribers recently. The target now is to look at four so if you haven't subscribed please do so for all your Saints content with your notifications turned on. Follow us on our socials and as always, this video is kindly sponsored by the guys over at Pitchsport. Make sure you download that app if you haven't yet already. Right, on to my own reaction. Um, it's not going to be long. Uh, I'm do obviously doing this a couple of hours after full time because that, that one's just such a bitter pill to swallow in the sense that I I just don't understand how how it can how it can turn so drastically. We were excellent in the first half, one of the best halves from us all all season, arguably, definitely. Um, in 2021, I thought we were excellent. Obviously, got our goal through Ings, a cracking goal. Um, had chances to score more. Uh, and even at 1-0, it just didn't look like we were going to go and lose the game. Wolves had offered little and you expected a fight back from them. But we'd also looked so comfortable. You just thought that we were going to go on and push for a second and you know wrap the game up. That's not what happened at all. Wolves came out and um, showed a bit of intent. Obviously, it was a stronger Wolves side to the one that started in the Cup. On Thursday night and you know we we looked a little bit leggy and you know given a penalty five minutes into the first, uh, second half sorry four minutes into the second half you know, that was always going to give Wolves a massive boost my thoughts on it I think it's harsh but at the end of the day it's the rule you know I think the ref's got to give it it's not really the referee's fault because he has to give it it's more it's more the rules you know, it's more down to the fact of how ridiculous the rule is because there is no way in hell that Bertrand is trying to block the goal, uh, the ball from going into the back of the net with his hand. He turns away. His arm is actually turning away from the ball and it hits his arm. But the letter of the law at the moment is if it hits the arm, it's got in the box, it's got to be a penalty. So you can't really blame the referee for that. Neves obviously is going to score it. What we can blame the referee for though and all the officials is the fact that the same thing happens down the end of the other end of the pitch about five minutes later and nothing is given. VAR can't overturn the decision because it's not clear and obvious, apparently, but it strikes Den Donkey's arm. It's the exact same as Bertrand's. I do not understand why a penalty was not given. And, you know, we were paid to... Or, sorry, we paid the price because after after Neves' penalty, we absolutely crumbled. And that's down to us. That's not down to any officiating. That's not down to, you know, poor luck that we've had over the last couple of weeks, injuries, whatever. We had our first choice 11 starting today, in my opinion. If not, maybe Adams in for Redmond. I think it was perfect. You know, first time the first choice back four were playing together in two months. With Walker Peters coming back. Um, and, yeah, we absolutely crumbled. Showed absolutely... No mentality whatsoever. Absolutely spineless. We will go and concede a second. In fairness, it's a great goal from Neto. I don't really think we can do much about it. In honesty, some people are saying Bertrand, you know, got spun. Or Vescar got spun. Bertrand should be tracking back all of that. But I think it's a good goal. Um, the problem I have is the fact that we just showed no reaction whatsoever to go and um, pull one back. At least take a point from that game. You cannot go and lose six league games in a row. What's worse is Walker Peters has come off with a hamstring injury. So a month out, maybe. Um, I, I don't I don't understand. I, I, I just can't comprehend how badly this season's gone. You know, we were cruising. We were sick. We were sick in the first week of January. At the start of this, before this run happened, we were sixth. And now we're 13th. We've dropped off so, so badly. I, we, we've never lost. You know, in our what, 135 year history, we have never lost six league games in a row, whether that was in League One, the Championship, Division Four, the Premier League, Top Flight, what, whatever league we were in, we've never lost six in a row. Never. And obviously, in some games, different factors have gone against us. In some games, it's been refereeing decisions. In other games, it's because we've not had our key personnel available. We We, we have no excuses today, in my opinion. We were... We, we showed exactly how well we can play in that first half and we showed how spineless we can be in the second. Another game where we've taken the lead and lost. I just don't know where, where we go from this now. We've got Chelsea next. 
Do you really think we're going to get points from Chelsea? But it's probably going to be seven league defeats in a row. Leeds after that, three days later, we could be facing eight league defeats in a row. Um, thank God we're through in the FA Cup because that's the only thing keeping this season afloat right now. I'm just, I, I, I don't, I don't think we're going to finish in the top half now. I really don't. To think that we're not going to progress on last season's league finish, I, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm absolutely appalled. Um, We've got no right back now for the next however long it's going to be. I don't even want to start thinking about that. We're back to square one. We, I, I don't understand it. We 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 are back to. I don't understand how it's gone so badly. It's uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm beyond words now. I'm incredibly frustrated. Um, and I don't I don't really know where the next next couple of points are going to come from. I thought today was a good opportunity to get at least a draw. You know, obviously. Wolves would have, were always going to play a stronger side. They they prioritised the league as opposed to the Cup. And we went through in the Cup, of course. And I, I'm delighted that we're through in the Cup. Of course I am. And we've got a great chance of getting to the semi-final. But at the end of the day, where are we going to finish in the league? Do, do we really think that finishing 13th, 14th and getting to the Cup semi-final is going to be an improvement on last season? No, I personally don't. Do you really think people like Danny Ings, Ra um, even Ralph, even Ralph, do you really think Ralph's going to want to stay if we're going to be finishing 14th in the Premier League, it'll be it getting in, into the Cup semi-final as well. I, I even think 14th and the Cup final wouldn't keep him here. I think we'd have to win the Cup. I, he's a loyal man, but he's not getting the back again unless this takeover happens or whatever takeover is going to happen. That shows a bit more intent in terms of injection of money into the club. I don't know why he would stay. You know, we've talked about how he was loyal. Uh, the ball were loyal after the 9 nil against Leicester. And, you know, he wanted to repay the faith. He's done more than that. We've not repaid him. We've not, you know, I, I don't blame Simmons. I don't blame um, Toby Steele. I think they're trying to do uh, their best with the resources they've got. It's all about the money being injected from the ownership. of Obviously, COVID's not helped. And you can look at the financial reports if you know about money and finances. Because have a look and you'll see how much COVID has screwed us over. But it's the same for every club. We've got no excuses. Bottom of the net spend table as well. We're not progressing. We're, if anything, we're declining with the best manager we've had in probably my lifetime that I know of, that I can think of. I think I think he's better than Koeman. I think on par with what Poch was for us, he's got a worse squad. And I, I don't think we're going to progress. Now I'm rambling on a little bit. So I, I think I'm going to stop the video there because I could talk about this forever. But if you have enjoyed the video and agreed or disagreed with what I've said, let me know in the comment section below. Leave the video a like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Follow us on our socials and we will see you ahead of the Chelsea game in the week. Take it easy, guys.